Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal. I'm one of the top real estate agents here in the greater Toronto area. And during this video, I'm gonna show you what you can afford for $1 million in the greater Toronto area. And we're gonna cover a lot of areas from downtown Toronto all the way up north to King City, covering a number of different home styles, including detached, semi-detached homes, townhouses and condo apartments. If let's say you don't have a budget of a million dollars and your budget is only $600,000, then be sure to as well watch this video, click right over here. These are properties you can afford for $600,000. And if you're curious to know how our market's currently performing, and I've made a market update video, which you can take a look at right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the first property. So this property sold December 14th. Take a look at this. It sold for $999,500. It's in Pickering and it was listed at $850,000. So it looks like it sold $150,000 over asking price. Yes, if you haven't heard, the detached market is especially hot right now. Properties are being sold very quickly and for a high price. Browsing through the pictures here, we can see that it was a relatively updated house. They've got the quartz countertops, but they have uh, old appliances, which is a little bit unusual. This is actually a fairly high priced home in Pickering, if you were to ask me, because it only does have a one car garage. It could have just been the the fact that it is on a court, uh, which is in most cases a little bit quieter than your typical street. Here's our next property. It's in Richmond Hill by Highway 7 and Young. Sold for $1,050,000. Three bedrooms, three washrooms. It also has a one car garage. And there's similarities. We find that for detached houses. And this, based on looking on the property, is somewhat updated. They've got nice pot lights throughout. It's not the largest property, which is probably why they haven't disclosed the square footage as well. Although it has a bedroom in the basement, it does not have a separate entrance. Here's the next property. We're in Mississauga, although it is pretty important to acknowledge that in Mississauga, the prices do dramatically change depending on which specific community you are in Mississauga. As some of the areas are known for having good, reputable schools and some other areas of Mississauga, maybe average schools and a little bit of a higher crime rate. But this property here, four bedrooms plus one, two car garage, the kitchen looks spectacular. You've got hardwood floors, you've got a nice backyard. It's no surprise that this property sold in only four days. And this is somewhat similar to this next property in Ajax. This sold for $1,020,000. It was four plus one bedrooms, four washrooms, and looks like a recently built property. The approximate age says zero to five years, 2,800 square feet. However, it does not have a finished basement. Here's our next property. It's in one of the more exclusive and upscale areas in Scarborough called Highland Creek. It sold for $1,020,000, four bedrooms, four washrooms. It does have a basement apartment, however, it does not have a separate entrance. And similar to most of the other listings we've looked at, it's a relatively updated home and it does have a two car garage. And for those of you that are wondering what you can afford in Brampton, this next property here is by Dixie and Sandalwood. It sold for $1,012,000. It's a four bedroom detached property with four washrooms. This particular term plus two uh, makes it really important that you do look at the room specifications or you consult with a real estate agent as they can most likely give you some clarity as far as what that plus two means. Here's our next property, and pretty much this is the only thing you can find in central Toronto. So central Toronto generally means anywhere east of Dufferin Street and west of Victoria Park. So one of those areas includes Bathurst and Ellerslie. Think about it like a little bit south of Bathurst and Shepherd. It's a two-bedroom, three-story townhouse. These are relatively new. They are very nice. Um, however, they do have a $154 maintenance fee. Come to think of it like something which will usually cover like the lawn maintenance and snow removal. Maybe with some townhouses, they'll take care of your windows. It really does depend. But this property sold for $999,900. However, it was on the market for 35 days. So we're noticing that the condos as well as some particular townhomes, they can take a bit of time to sell, especially if it's a two bedroom property. Here's the next property, it's in Milton. And this sold for a million fifty thousand. This is interesting because it's a detached home. However, it's one of the smaller sizes. As you can see here, it's only fifteen hundred to two thousand square feet. However, what certainly makes it a good buy is that it's relatively new. It's updated and it's been constructed within the past five years. Here's our next property. This is our first condo apartment. Very exciting. We're at 59 East Liberty Street. So it's by East Liberty and Strachan. It's a two plus one bedroom condo and it sold for 
$1,000. Again, it was on the market for 32 days. Great property. It does have a locker as well have two parking spaces. And it was 1,183 square feet. As you can see here, it is relatively updated. However, the condo fees may be a little bit too high for most people as they are $818. Let's now take a look at Markham. This property sold for $990,000. It's a three bedroom detached back split with one car garage. However, what's unique about this property is they have a very deep lot, 175 feet deep. That is a lot of land. And that's likely why the way the agent is promoting this property is more so based on the land value. And there's not a lot of interior pictures. Here's our next condo. This is a larger and a more luxurious one. But first, please do me a huge favor and click the subscribe button or give the video a like and perhaps a comment because that's the only thing which helps this channel grow and allows me to provide you with more free content. As YouTube sees this video get more engagement, they seem to send it to more people. So I really appreciate it. This is the next property. It's by Major McKenzie in Pine Valley. It's sold for $982,000. So you can see here, this is a fairly low price per square foot, given that this is 1,265 square feet of living space. Uh, condo fees are $740, and this has two parking spaces and a locker. And similarly, this is a two plus one bedroom condo by Park Sean and Lakeshore, also known as the South Beach Condos in South Etobicoke. We're looking at 1,291 square feet of living space along with a 120 square foot terrace. Only has one parking space. Condo fees are $905 and it's sold for $996,000. And take a look at that. It was on the market for 115 days, which is almost four months. So these properties, which are really updated, you can say they're going to be sold to somebody who really does appreciate quality. And sometimes it does take a little bit of time in order to attract that right buyer. Here's our next property. It's in the West end of Toronto by Keel and Rustic Road, also known as the Maple Leaf Community. It sold for $1,045,000. It was listed for $999,000. It's a detached two plus one bedroom property, good lot size, 40 feet frontage by 100 30 feet deep and you can see it's relatively updated it's got nice vaulted ceilings and definitely in a great community with schools good shopping plazas close by and really easy access to highway 401 here's our next property we're in Vaughan, although this is like the border of Vaughan and Toronto it's Thorn Hill and it's an older property and it's a four bedroom detached two-story home take a look at this though I, I really appreciate the agent acknowledging that it's a one and a half car garage home meaning it kind of looks like a two-car garage from the outside however you would definitely fail if you were to try parking two cars in that garage as you can see it needs updates for the most part older kitchen and floors could use a little bit of an update too and then here's a really unique purchase you could say because we're looking at 1,520 square feet and look at those condo fees, $1,728 for this two plus one bedroom condo apartment which is by Don Mills Road and Lawrence Avenue. It's got a lot of updates throughout. It was one of the older buildings. However though, a lot of the purchasers out there who are coming from large homes and they need to downsize, this is pretty much the only type of condominium which they're comfortable moving into. The, a lot of people are moving from 3,000, even 4,000 square foot properties. They need space for storage. They want to have space to entertain. Let's say it's Thanksgiving or Christmas time. They want to have the kids over, the grandkids. That's why 1,520 square feet could be perhaps appropriate for them. And this also has a south view, which is in most cases a lot more attractive as they're looking at the CN Tower, provided that the view is somewhat unobstructed. I really hope you found this information valuable and helpful. If you did, then consider subscribing, give the video a like, and please do share this video with anyone else you know that may find this information helpful as well. And if you're a real estate agent that's looking for opportunity, I would happily take your call. Please call me, call me, call me. I'm at 416 six seven one five two one eight and i'll look forward to seeing you all next time bye guys